the image of point three comma negative five under the translation that shifts x comma y to x minus one comma y minus three is the first step is going to be plugging in the values for x comma y so we can write it as three minus one comma negative five minus three so three is x and negative five is our y value now 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and negative 5 minus 3 is equal to negative 8 so the final answer is option number 4 2 comma negative 8 what is the image of point negative 3 comma 4 under the translation that shifts x comma y to x minus 3 comma y plus 2 so in this case we can write in bracket that negative 3 minus 3 comma 4 plus 2 where negative 3 is our x value and positive 4 is our y value now negative 3 minus 3 is equal to negative 6 and 4 plus 2 is equal to positive 6 so the final answer is option number 4 negative 6 comma positive 6 on the banks of a river, so where's mark locations A, B, and C? The measure of angle A, C, B is equal to 70 degrees and the measure of angle A, B, C is equal to 65 degrees. Which expression shows the relationship between the lengths of the sides of this triangle? So angle A, C, B is this one and it is 70 degrees. This is angle A, B, C which is 65 degrees. Now to find the measure of angle A or angle B, A, C, what we have to do is we have to write that angle BAC is equal to 180 degrees minus 65 minus 70 degrees which is equal to 180 degrees minus 135 degrees which is further equal to 45 degrees now what we can do is we can write that angle A is equal to 45 degrees what we can say is that measure of measure of angle A is smaller than measure of angle B which is smaller than measure of angle C we can write measure of angle A as its corresponding side which is BC. We can write measure of angle B as its corresponding side AC and measure of angle C as AB. Now the final answer is option number 3. A dog is tied with a rope to a stake in the ground. The length of the rope is 5 yards. What is the area in square yards in which the dog can roam? So the formula to find the area of a circle is nothing but pi r square which is the pi times the radius squared. Um, in our case, the radius of the circle is 5 because the length of the rope is 5. And now this equation looks something like this. Pi 5 squared because now you have plugged in the value of 5 in this equation. So you can say that pi in bracket 5 times 5, which is basically 5 squared, which is equal to pi in bracket 25, which in the end is 25 pi. So the final answer is option number 1. The equation A is equal to 1 by 2 times 12 times 3 plus 7 is used to find the area of a trapezoid which calculation would not result in the correct area so you can use many methods for this i'm going to use this method so first i'm going to solve for the value of a in this equation so we can say that a is equal to 
the half of 12 in bracket 3 plus 7 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out these numbers and write 6 over here because 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6 now we can say that a is equal to 6 in bracket 3 plus 7 you can also cancel out the 1 and now we can say a is equal to 6 in bracket 10 because 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 which is equal to 6 times 10 which is equal to 60 now what we have to do is that we know the a, uh, the amount of the value of a which is 60 we have to find the ending results of all the four options so let's check with option one and see if we get 60. so if you solve this it will look something like 12 in bracket 3 plus 7 divided by 2 you can cancel the 12 and the 2 out and write 6 on top of 12 and now we have got 6 in bracket 10 because 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 and 6 times 10 is equal to 60 so yes you can match this equation with this option now let's check this option so 0 0.5 times 12 is nothing but Another way you can write this is you can say that 12 divided by 5. It's another way to write this. So 12, 12 divided by 2, which is equal to 6. So 0 0.5 times 12 is equal to 6. Right. And then you have times 10. So the final answer is 6 times 10, which is 60. So yes, this can also resonate with this equation because it also gives the value of a as 60. So this is not our final answer. We need to find the equation which does not give the final value of 60 because this is already giving us 60. Now we have to check with this equation. So this is simple. 6 in bracket, 6 in bracket 3 plus 7 which is equal to 6 in bracket 10 because 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply and we get 60 so this is also giving us 60 so this is not the answer but this is also matching with this number now we have to check with this equation now our equation over here is something like 12 by 2 times 10 by 2 there are many ways to do this I'm just going to cancel by cross multiplying. So when you cancel 2 and 10 out, you get 5 on top of 10. And when you cancel 12 and 2 out, you get 6 on top of 12. So 6 times 5 is equal to 30, which is not equal to 60. So the answer is option number 4. Because this is the only equation in all of the four equations which is not giving us the total result of 60.